What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 15th iOS 10 jailbreak update video. And let me just get it out of the way right away. iOS 10.2 is no longer being signed, meaning you can no longer update or downgrade to iOS 10.2. That's right, so I did warn you guys on Twitter today. If you're not following me on Twitter, make sure to go ahead and follow me over there. Those links are down in the description below. But basically I warned you guys, I kind of referenced back to the spreadsheet I made earlier this month that showed you guys how long Apple's signing window has stayed open in between each version since 9.0. So anyways, I hope you guys saved your SHSH2 blobs for 10.2, that way you can potentially upgrade or downgrade in the future. So anyways, besides the fact that iOS 10.2 isn't being signed anymore, there's a little bit more to talk about in this video. So of course, we're going to be talking about the madness that has gone on these past 48 hours or so with the Yalu jailbreak and Luca Tedesco, iPhone 7 support, a tweak you should not install, and more. So first of all, if you're following this Yalu jailbreak and Luca Tedesco on Twitter, you know how absolutely crazy these last two or three days have been. However, if you're not following them every day and you don't really know what's going on, Basically, Luca Tedesco has released seven betas for Yalu within the past couple of days. And these betas obviously add a little bit of stability and also patch up some of the bugs that were found during this testing phase. And the testing phase is obviously what we're all in right now, which is the beta. So the latest beta is beta 7, which adds support for the iPad Air 2 and the iPad Mini 4, as well as added stability. And Luca actually said that this beta is about as stable as the jailbreak will get, which is a good sign because that means we're really close to the final or at least the gamma jailbreak release. Now, I don't know if Luca actually plans on still releasing a gamma or just jumping straight to the final, but my guess is that he will release a gamma. I think that the gamma release of Yalu 10.2 will actually support the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus on iOS 10.1.1, and then he will release the final version once he patches up some bugs that were found in that gamma release. As for when it will happen, I have no clue, but I can't imagine it will be very long. I mean, Luca did add the iPhone 7 to the plan section of the Yalu GitHub page, so I don't think he'll just give up on it, especially given how hard he's actually been working these past few days. I mean, I could just imagine that he is in the zone right now. But as usual, we're just gonna have to play the waiting game and just sit back and wait and see what happens. Now, if you're currently jailbroken on this new Yalu 10.2, there are some potential tweaks out there that may put you in a very bad situation. And when I say a very bad situation, I mean that you could potentially have to restore and lose your jailbreak. And there's one tweak in particular that has stood out and has been more popular among people that are, for some reason, it's like the first thing they install, and that's AppSync. Please, please, please stay away from AppSync. Not just now, like forever. Stay away from AppSync. It always gives people issues. And really at this point, unless you're an advanced user, I wouldn't be touching any tweaks that don't specifically say that they have been updated for iOS 10. Because of course, now that the signing period for 10.2 is over, you're you know playing the survival game now. You kind of have to just survive and not install any of the bad tweaks that could potentially force you to restore. All right, now switching gears and talking about some more positive things, I have a video coming tomorrow which is going to touch on 13 must-have applications or tweaks inside of Cydia that everybody should have immediately after they jailbreak. And I'm saying this now because this relates to what I was saying about AppSync. Some of these applications you will need because they could potentially save your jailbreak if, say, you install AppSync or something like that. You may be able to fix it if you have one of these tweaks in that video tomorrow installed. And of course, in addition to that video, I have a ton more videos coming on the iOS 10 jailbreak, including top tweaks videos, tutorials, and a lot more. I also want you guys to kind of pitch in and let me know if you have any ideas of videos you would like to see. I'd love to help, you know, make some of the videos that you guys are asking for. So leave a comment down below if there's anything you guys want to see, or really if you just have any questions in general. So there you have it, guys. That is just a very short update video. Basically, just to tell you that the 10.2 signing period has closed talk a little bit about Yalu, and then also to avoid AppSync. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the jailbreak now or if you're just looking forward to it in general. Again, leave a comment down below if you have any questions whatsoever, and I'll see you guys very soon.